yesterday i am very thankful to the students for the address which they have presented to me this evening i have spent a great part of my active life in the midst of students and there can be no greater joy than to be in the midst of students again to be in touch with their glowing enthusiasm and with their happy and hopeful natures i assure you that no welcome that has been accorded to me in this city is more gratifying to me than the welcome from the students i wish my task was over with this brief acknowledgement of your kindness but i fear that you expect me to give you some advice advice which it is so easy to give but which it is not always easy to act upon however since you have been so good as to present this address to me i must on my part discharge such responsibility as rest on me on this occasion i believe that the subject of the duties and responsibilities of students is one of the most well known subjects on which anybody could be called upon to speak on numerous occasions not only here but throughout the country this subject in particular has been handled exhaustively by men much greater than myself it is not therefore possible for me on this occasion to say anything new or anything that may be particularly useful to you but i venture to make a few observations on some of the practical aspects of the student life it is often said that the days of student life were in some respects the happiest days of one's life i confess that i was not in those days quite able to understand where the happiness lay however since i began what may be called my later life and saw most of the world outside i began to understand and now understand more and more every day for the deep significance and the meaning of the observation there is no doubt whatever in my mind that if i could now go back once again to the days of studenthood i would do so at once with a pleasure the life of a student is comparatively speaking a sheltered life there are of course certain responsibilities which you cannot get rid of but you occupy a position of vantage in regard to the performance of these responsibilities